We uh, found lacking in our previous presentations a discussion with David Schultz and Dennis Condry, which we are rectifying today to talk about their future in the picture of the uh, World Tag Team Champions. Lance, you know, we're not dressed out to wrestle today. You I know why? Well, Do you know why? The Jarrett and Welch Wrestling Company has got something against Condry and Schultz. When we signed the contract to come in here, Lance, we signed the contract for championship matches. Now, you know Buddy Fuller's down here in these little hick towns running around. Bolivar, Tennessee. Bolivar, Tennessee. Wearing his fancy suit, acting like he's Tennessee. somebody. He's come down there and he says, Bill Dundee, Jimmy Valiant, Ricky Morton, all of them. Them are my champions. Them are my boys, you know. And now we ask them why can't we get a championship match? What's wrong? They say, you're too violent. You're too violent. People wrote in and said, you're violent. You're violent. We don't want to see violence. Schultz and Condry's going to put somebody away. Get them off the television. They're too violent. Jerry, Jerry, that little punk. That's what he is. See, I can call him anything I want to call him because I've got a contract, Lance Russell. They can't tear my contract up. You understand? And that's what he is. He's a punk. I asked him, I say, Jerry, Jerry, what about you riding up and down the road with David Schultz and Dennis Condry? Oh, no, he no, no. not hear of it, Lance Russell. would not no hear way, of it, man. No way. No, sir. That little Bill Dundee, you little freak, let me tell you something, Dundee. You run around here behind Jerry, Jerry, following him real close. Well, Condry and Schultz are going to get you something, boy. We're going to get you a set of turn signals. And Jerry, Jerry, we want you to hook him on your back, boy. And Dundee, whenever he goes to make a turn, he's going to flip a button if he turns right. He's going to flip another button if he turns left. Well, you won't break your nose when he turns. All right. <laughs> All right, nothing. I ain't I'm through. I'm going to ask you one question at a time. I don't want to overload your mind, baby. I don't want to short, short circuit you. Now, who, every time you see Jerry, Jerry, who do you see with him? Who do you see with him? Answer him, man. Well, I'll tell you, you see Jimmy Bayett or little Billy Dundee, the little four-foot midget. That's who you see, man. Let me tell you something, baby. It's getting down to the nitty-gritty. We want championship matches, and we don't care what we have to do. If we have to knock the promotion, if we have to knock anybody, Daddy, we're going to get some championship matches. Good, Lance. Good, Lance. Good, Lance. Good, Lance. Good, Lance. Good, Lance. That's what's wrong. And baby, I'm gonna tell you something, freak. You run out here with these 29 cent sunglasses, with your bleached blonde hair, you think you're a man, you ain't nothing, boy. You're a punk from the Big Apple, and if you mess with us, we'll send you back. And Dundee, we'll send you to Australia, and Jerry Gant, we'll break your neck. And Buddy Ford, I know you're down there somewhere, one of these little hick red neck down watching. I don't like you, I don't like the promotion. But Lance, see, I can do this, daddy. Nobody can cut me off. I got money, Daddy. I can buy this television station if I want to. I can We're stars, Lance Russell. Russell. We're stars in the wrestling business today. Well, if we wouldn't stars, if we wouldn't stars, you wouldn't be seeing us on this TV right now. We're going to get some jackets. We are stars. We're going to hurt somebody one. You hear me? Woo. I hear what you're saying. Okay, fine. What about the Stooges? Hey, who better? Are you listening out there? Yeah, they listen. We, uh... Heard a lot of insults and not very much concrete about the plan. Insult! You come out here and just stand and insult. Well, look people, at me! I, I can insult anybody I want to. I'm big enough. I got in this business to hurt people, Lance Rose, because I'm a beef freak. I love to hurt people. Now, how can I hurt people if they won't book us in Mexico? They're violent. They ought to send them to Fort Bill State Prison or something. They're violent. Dr. D and Mr. C. For whatever that was worth, uh, 